please remember to post a like, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell so you can always get my latest travel videos. Sunday morning from Seoul, South Korea. Today we're going to explore the ancient part of Seoul, uh, the palace, the old temples. Stay with me. To get to Guiyangbokgong Palace, take line three of the subway to Guiyangbokgong Station. I'm inside the palace grounds. Lots of people wearing traditional costumes and the flowers are in bloom. The traditional costume of South Korea is the hanbok, a loose-fitting garb giving freedom of movement while hiding the shape of the body. The hanbok was Korea's traditional garment and now worn only for special occasions. The traditional hanbok for women consists of a short top with long sleeves, often in white with a long skirt, which is tied around the upper chest. A robe or vest may be worn over top. The male version of the hanbok consists of a long top reaching below the knees and worn over loose fitting pants. It also may be worn with a vest or robe. Admission to the palace is free to anyone wearing a hanbok. It only costs 3000 won to enter the palace. So unless you already have a hanbok, you're going to have to spend about 18,000 won for a four hour rental of a hanbok just to save 3000 won. It's very pretty here. The palace grounds are quite deep and elaborate. Gyeongbokgung Palace was built in 1395 and was the main royal palace of the Joseon dynasty of Korea. The palace grounds also contain National Palace Museum and National Folk Museum. Both museums are free with a palace admission. And you can see the beautiful, colorful, traditional costumes that many people are wearing. This is the main temple inside the palace, very beautiful. Uh, it celebrates a folk religion, not Buddhism, obviously. According to a 2021 poll, 22% of South Korea is Christian, 16% is Buddhist, and 60% have no religion. It is likely that the majority of the 60% reported as having no religion actually practice a folk religion which recognizes and worships various deities and ancestors. The grounds are large and elaborate with beautiful flowers including marigolds and cherry blossoms in full bloom. Lovely pond and mountains in the background. Very colorful guard ceremony at the palace. There is a digital media garden at the subway station next to the palace. The Bong Usa Temple, a very decorative covered pathway up to the main temple. Bong Yunsa Temple is a Buddhist temple founded in year 794. It is the main Buddhist temple in Seoul. A fun fact, Bong Yunsa Temple offers a temple stay program where tourists can experience a day in the life of a Buddhist monk for 30,000 won or around 24 US dollars per day. This is the center of the temple complex, the main statue of Buddha. It's about 17 meters high. And there's the worshippers there. I got lost to my next destination, but I found this lovely park with these beautiful flowers in full bloom. This lovely park I got lost in has a very steep tra hiking trail and also the higher up you go you get better and better views of the city of Seoul. As I continue to be lost I wanted to share with you this view of Seoul from on top of a hill. I found my way back home and I'm at the metro station so thank you for watching. Please subscribe, post a like and hit the notification bell for future videos.